Hello, my pretty people. How are y'all doing? I hope y'all are doing good. Hope y'all are well and staying away from that Miss COVID out there. Uh, wear your mask. Very important. I'm doing this video because I wanted to show y'all <clears throat> how to make the um, the borax mixing and the neem oil. And the reason I want to do both of them is because uh, the aphids and the ants they go together. And they they help each other. The ants help them out. The aphids and the aphids have little claws and they get the sap out and they share. Uh, so you got to get rid of one or the other. Okay, we're not going to kill them. So people out there with thoughts that I'm going to kill them. No, it's not going to kill them. I'm going to use organic stuff to, to get them out of your garden. Uh, shout out for my uh, little gardener, Mikey, my great nephew. Um, so he already has his neem oil concentrated. You can buy that or you can make it yourself. Uh, it's uh, the neem oil. Um, you can get it anywhere. The concentrated organic, 32 ounces, two. You can put two tablespoons of neem oil, hot water, mix it, and then it'll be ready and do it at nighttime, every two weeks. <clears throat> That's to get rid of any unwanted little bugs that you might have out there. It's not gonna hurt the plants. And also neem oil, by the way, I'm a cosmetologist, so you can also use this for hair. It's very good for hair. Uh, does it grow? I don't have any evidence of that, but a lot of people use it in India. Okay, the next thing I wanna do, and that was for the plants and the animals. The next thing I wanna do is do a mixture of the borax. It's borax, you can get it anywhere. And what is it? It's just like a little soap uh, to activate the detergent. So it doesn't hurt the plants, even if it falls on them. Um, if it goes in quantities, well, it, it might dry up a little bit, but it's not gonna hurt them, and you're not gonna do it like that. You're gonna get a mixture in sugar. Just put sugar in a bowl. Don't get it from the dispenser from your mom. Get a throwaway spoon, okay? So it's four teaspoons. One, two, three, four four sugars and one borax. Mix, mix, mix together. Put one drop of water and it should be a consistency of just kind of thickish. Okay, you shouldn't have to have it. It should be just kind of granule. Uh, if you can see it in there, it should just be kind of granule in there. Okay, so what do I, I, I put it in? You may, I make these little Tupperwares from things that I get from when I buy. Uh, so I make little holes, okay? Make little holes. You can make them with a screwdriver, kids, or you can get mom to do your little holes. Um, do not use knives. Do not use anything to burn the little holes through, okay? Don't get any ideas. That's not a good way to do it. So, um, but you can get a little screwdriver and just kind of make your little holes around. You just need four. I like these kind. These are very good. You throw them away, or well, you can use it for that. You make your mixer and you just put some in there and then you just seal it. And you can just leave it inside the plants or around your garden, okay? And as the heat hits them, it melts it and it, it drips a little bit so that the ants go and get it. Uh, you wanna mix the borax on a contents. The, the, the most that I've done is four sugars of teaspoons and one of borax. But you can make six sugars, teaspoons, and one borax. The, the idea is so that the ants get that, take it to the queen, and they all kind of colonize and go somewhere else. And bye-bye ants, okay? Um, eventually, uh, they will move away, okay? I found that to be, I had a real problem with ants. I have a beautiful garden out back but it was the point to where the ants were uh, getting me. And it was probably gonna be uh, really soon enough that the aphids would be coming up to the plants because they travel up and they stay there and they sap away and the ants get their little juice and all that kind of stuff. So they all work together. It's okay, <clears throat> but I just don't want them in my garden. And it's safe to move them and it's safe and it won't kill the plants. So this is Dory, uh, I hope y'all are well. Uh, shout out to Mikey and Nathan and, and, and my family. Stay safe and I'll see y'all soon. This is Dory saying goodbye.